uh, there was an altercation between uh, several people who all know each other and some point during this argument over property someone produced a gun and shot and killed one of the parties involved. The shooter fled on foot and deputies found him a short distance away and he was taken into custody. Do we know, do we know you say a, a fight over property? Something as simple as a phone? What was it? You know? I don't know the specific property, but yes, it sounds like it's something that's uh, small, minor property. We're not talking any major uh, piece of property. You've had uh, two canine units out here. What are they looking for? Uh, canine unit uh, initially was called to track when we were still tracking the suspect. The second uh, canine, or one of the canines that you might see out here, is what we call explosives dog, but he tracks for firearms, ammunition, shell casing, so they help us in the evidence recovery. Did you say there were more than two, the two people involved in our victim, and where are those people? Earlier today, uh, we're being told by witnesses <coughs> that there was a group of them, and then right before this shooting, we think there were about three or four people when the shooting actually happened, and they all know each other. So they all know each other, and it was very easy to track down the person responsible because it, people knew the new names, right? Yes, they were. It, I don't know that they gave us names, but they certainly gave us descriptions, and our deputies were in the scene, at the scene, very quickly, and were able to get information from neighbors as this person was going through yards. Do you know how many shots were fired? No, I don't know how many. Okay. Where's the uh, suspect right now? The suspect is in custody with the deputies waiting for the detectives to get here. Were any of the other people involved in the altercation? Are they going to be charged? At this time, it appears that everybody else is merely a witness. They saw what happened, heard what happened. Is this gang activity at all? Uh, did this guy have a street name? Was he known to the sheriff's office? We don't believe this is involving any gangs. I mean, you said property, but you didn't know exactly what kind of argument over what exactly? No, and it sounds like it's something that's probably been going on over the course of hours or days, a disagreement over who has some property. Can you talk about what you know about the victim, whether he lives in this area? We believe the victim is in his 20s and lives in this area, as well as the suspect being in his 20s and also living in this area. Both males? Both males. And uh, also, when you, it's not not the property of drugs. Definitely. Pardon me? We rule that drugs as the property. I do not, not believe that that is the property they're talking about. It's some actual physical property. And it's an argument that's been festering for not just an instant thing. This was for hours, maybe a couple of days? Sounds like it. From what the people talking to, they know these guys have been beefing back and forth with each other over this. But they are acquaintances, and apparently we're all hanging out together earlier today. You're so, saying that the suspect is going through people's yards. Was that, like, just neighbors, the guys walking through the yards, and was that a dangerous uh, situation for them? He fled, and uh, we know that he went through at least several yards uh, fleeing from the scene, and that's what neighbors were able to point out to us which direction he was going, as well as our using the dog. Are uh, the other individuals that you said were not directly involved, are they still with police and detectives are they still being held for being you know giving information they're not being held they're cooperating with us and uh, letting us know their side of the story and was anyone else armed as far as you know as far as i know there was only uh, one handgun involved and did you recover that handgun we have not recovered that handgun yet uh, oh yeah where did they finally find the suspect at a nearby driveway of a house where he had fled through like i said several yards so this happened about 4 o'clock, it was all over in terms of arresting the suspect, what, a few minutes later? Uh, the initial calls came in right around 4 o'clock, and I believe the suspect was in custody right around 4.30, 4.35. And do we know who phoned 911? We got at least three phone calls from different people, I know, uh, possibly more, but I know three for sure. When do you expect to release the identity of either? Victim is always only ever identified by the medical examiner, so it won't come from us. And suspect identity when in custody is only released after charge by the prosecutor.